Mary's Meals is a global hunger charity which recently reached a milestone, feeding more than one million of the world's poorest children a daily meal in school and creating a measurable positive impact on enrollment, attendance, and performance. Magnus McFarlane Barrow is founder and CEO of Mary's Meals and author of The Shed That Fed a Million Children, and he joins us now. Magnus, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me on. Tell us about the concept behind Mary's Meals. It's remarkably simple and yet so effective. It's a very simple concept. It's about recognizing that many of the world's poorest children miss school because they're hungry, because they're working, because they're begging, doing whatever it takes to put the next meal on the table, and therefore they miss education and their only possible ladder out of poverty. So Mary's Meals is, is an intervention into that cycle of poverty by, by providing one good meal every day. We meet the immediate need of the hungry child for food, but at the same time we tackle the underlying cause of, of poverty by enabling them to come into school because of that promise of, of, of a meal. So brilliant. And tell us how many children now get a meal once every school day through Mary's Meals? Today, nearly 1.2 million children every school day around the world in, in 12 different countries. That's just amazing. What kind of infrastructure is needed to provide this? Well, first of all, probably the most important part of our model is that all this daily work is done by volunteers, local volunteers. So in, in Malawi alone, in Southeast Africa, we have 80,000 volunteers, people who are very often living in poverty themselves, but who are giving up time each day to cook and serve the meals to the children in their community. And then another very important thing for us is to buy the food locally as much as possible to support the local farmer, to support the local economy. So it's a, it's a simple model, but it's something that really works. And tell us, how much does it cost to give one child a meal once every school day for a year? On average, $19.50 to feed a child for, for a year. And yet, yet today, they reckon probably 18,000 children will have died of, of hunger-related causes. Look at that. Now, you started Mary's Meals in 2002 in Malawi, is that correct? That's correct? Feeding just 200 children. And you were previously a fisherman in Scotland, is yeah, that right? Yeah, I was a salmon farmer in Scotland. Yeah, so no, no real qualifications to do, to do this. Um, and the work, the way it's grown never ceases to surprise me. And it's, it's really a work that grows because people all over the world are, are supporting this. People see this simple thing that actually Absolutely. works. It's effective in lifting the, the poorest children out of poverty. Tell us about the moment that you realize this is what I need to do? Well, I was in Malawi that year, 2002, involved in emergency feeding programs. It was a year of terrible famine there. And I met this family living in one of the villages where we were working. And the, the mother of the family was dying. The father had already died. And, and uh, Emma, she was called the mother. She was surrounded by her six children. And I began talking to her, her oldest child. He was called Edward. He was about 14 years of age. And at one point in the conversation, I, I said to Edward, what are your hopes, what, what are your ambitions in life? And he looked at me and he said, I, I'd like to have enough food to eat and I would like to be able to go to school one day. And, and that was the extent of his ambition at, at 14 years of age. Yeah. And, and, and his words were really the catalyst for this, for this movement that Mary's Meals have become really more than anything a response to, to that boy's words that day. It's hard to keep dry eyes listening to you say these things. And today you were recently, you were recently named one of Time Magazine's most 100 influential people. Your book has made the bestseller list and prestigious UK lists. You've begin, been given multiple uh, honorary degrees from universities. You've accomplished so much through Mary's Meals. What is the goal? Our, our vision is that every child in the world can eat at least one good meal every day in their place of education. And, and more than ever, we really believe that's possible in, in this world of plenty. There's, there's no good reason why any child in this world should go a day without food. There's, there's no good reason why a child should miss out on school. And now it's a global charity, fundraising centres in 14 countries, is that correct? Uh, yeah, if, if it was serving meals in, in 12 countries and fundraising in another 14 countries. And that's how correct. can people get involved? Best thing to do is to go on our website, lots and lots of information there about how to get involved and many different ways that people can become part of, of this mission. So lots of information there for people who, who might want to take part in this. Magnus, it is wonderful what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.